first there was light. And with that came shadows. The light will actually correct what's underneath it. Now, imagine a world without shadows. Can I try that? It's not an optical illusion. Stick your head under it. This is the future of light. Wow. Computer algorithms can calculate where light isn't and fill in the dark spaces. Try that with one of Edison's incandescent bulbs. Come around this way. Fred Maxick is a physicist and philosopher who founded a company called Lighting Science. He believes that light is the last frontier of the digital revolution. Light is the last analog technology that is the legacy of the industrial age. Every other technology has gone digital. Edison gave us the phonograph. MP3 plays look radically different with radically different functionality. It's the movies, DVDs, video disc, video on demand. The structure's completely changed. Lighting is the last structure to go. Once you digitize it, light becomes more than a source of illumination. Every wavelength can be manipulated so precisely that colors change before your very eyes. Now, imagine the commercial applications in surgery, in retail, in agriculture, and of all places, in your bedroom. Maxic invented a bulb he claims can help you sleep. Light can be a wonderfully powerful drug, actually. We're just learning as a public and as a consumer to use it that way. Medical studies have established that light plays a crucial role in regulating the sleep cycle. There's a set of receptors deep inside the eye sensitive to blue light, the kind you get from the midday sun, fluorescent bulbs, and smartphone screens. That blue light keeps you awake by suppressing melatonin production. Find a way to remove it cheaply, and you've got a product that could disrupt two multi-billion dollar industries, sleep therapy clinics, and insomnia drugs. And that's what lighting science is trying to do. It's the presence and absence of the blue light that is the most important cue that it's time to be awake. The thesis has already been tested in space. For astronauts, being in space is like working the night shift all day. Without normal light, melatonin levels drop, circadian rhythms go haywire, and sleeplessness sets in. So lighting science outfitted the International Space Station with lights that simulated a day on Earth. Well, good morning. And that restored the natural sleep cycle. Now Fred Maxick has packaged that same technology in a bulb you can buy at Home Depot. He calls it the good night light. There's just one catch. Each bulb costs $70. I'm not selling you a light you turn on and see by. I'm trying to sell you a light that's going to do something biologically significant in your, in your life. And there's some big money betting Maxick will succeed. Pegasus Capital, a private equity firm, has invested $150 million in lighting science. We can take a significant portion, actually create some of that market where it's not being used today. I think the real question is how do we explain to people that what they've been doing is wrong? And that's really the biggest challenge, changing the way people have been thinking about light for more than a century. When I think about what light will be, I, I think about light being things that will be built into building materials, light will be built into windows, light will be delivered in ways we haven't even considered. Light will be completely customizable to the user based on what their needs are.